What's up, everybody? Optimum F in here, and thanks for hanging out with me today, and welcome back to Remnants. Back here with Season 1, Episode 11. Last episode, we explored Hillside Town and hit up a factory area just north of here. If you guys missed that episode, I'll link a card up in the top corner. Make sure to check that out. All right, so today we are going to finally stow our roots here and finally build our main base. Done a lot of looking around the map to figure out where I want to drop this main base at. I finally figured out a location. It is in the north here, um, just north of the desert. We started off over in that direction uh, with our first base. We put down a bunch of forward operating bases around the map, but without further ado, let's just get into it here. All right, so with building, you're gonna need a building plan. So if you open up your crafting menu by tab, uh, you're gonna search uh, building plans here, and you're gonna need five paper. Now the paper costs uh, five greenwood to construct that, and, or greenwood or regular wood. It doesn't matter. Uh, we got both on us now, but as long as you have some type of wood on you, it's gonna take five of those. Once you have that, you can make your building plan here, and it's going to take those five papers to make. Now you can also make claw or hammers, not a claw hammer, you got to find that, but um, you can make a stone hammer to start out with, you can make a wood hammer if you want, um, but once you start unlocking more and more blueprints, uh, you can find different types of hammers in the world. Um, but starting out with the blue ha or the stone hammer, uh, that's going to work as well, but you're going to need those two items to craft your base. Now another thing, once you start getting out into the world, you can find schematics uh, for different types of things, for foundations, stairs, walls, columns, um, and then you can start crafting those items as well. So once you find these schematics for the different types of building materials uh, that you're going to need to construct your bases, um, like here, you don't have to build straight from stick. So when you first start out, uh, you have, and right clicking will open up your wheel here, but uh, you have your foundations, and then you have a frame here. If you click this little arrow, go from frame to constructed. If you're not sure where you want to put down your construction, uh, just put up frames to get a general idea, and then you can pull them back up if you need to. Um, but it's going to save you resources going straight to constructed in the long run. Um, so uh, what we're going to do, so if you want to skip the stick phase, you can go, you know, to uh, stone, you can go to tin, you can go to metal, but you're going to need those schematics. And you have to get out into the world to find these schematics. Um, I haven't found too many schematics in the world uh, for crafting to those uh, items straight away. Uh, but once you find the schematics, you learn them. They're in your crafting menu here. Uh, and then you can just craft them up and place them that way. Um, but if you want to do it the old-fashioned way, you just start here with your foundation and uh, go from there. But uh, I think I'm going to go with this area here. Looks like a good spot. I got a little operating base there for when I was getting ready for this episode here pulling some of my resources from other FOBs over here um, let's see I know I want make sure we're in constructed we are let's just uh, do I want to go I don't think I'm gonna go out as high but I do just in case we do expand out this way, I do want to be above this bush. I don't want this bush in our build. So let's just leave it at this height. And set that there. So this looks like it's the middle there. Going out that way. Yeah, I like it. So what I'm thinking of doing is uh, putting a core here and building out around that. Um, 
I'm going to have all my main stuff in this core. I think a 3x3 three three is good for a core. Okay, we're obviously going to need a front door. So let's go ahead and we'll use that as our door. Now I want to put a porch around this build. I'm thinking two, two will be good here. Like I said, if you're not sure of how you want to build this, put down the foundations without it being constructed. Um, you will get some of these resources back uh, by taking your hammer and right clicking. It'll start pulling those resources back. See how I got some of the resources. Now you don't get all the resources back, but you do get some of them. Um, yeah, this is going to be a two by two porch going all the way around it. This is going to be a door here, I believe. Now I want to build this. Now these arrow, the foundations, the arrows don't matter, but uh, the arrows do matter on your walls and stuff like that. Um, your arrow. All right, so right now, with the arrow pointing away, that's going to be our finished side on the outside. Your unfinished side is going to be where your arrow is pointing. So we want the unfinished side to be inside. And... We're obviously going to need a door here. Okay. Put a foundation here. And we're going to put some walls here. We want walls or we want windows? Hmm, I think we want windows. Let's see, I want the... Hmm. Yeah, we'll put the finished side that way. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that'll work. That will work, yeah. And then, I want all walls here. Now, as you can see, I was able to place those, but you have columns here. You can stick them in the corners here. Now, I'm playing on PvE uh, for my playthrough series. If you're playing PvP, you want these columns to be here, because what it'll do, it'll leave a gap uh, in between your walls and stuff. So, you want to place these columns for sure, for structural integrity. I don't even know if there's structural integrity in the game, to be honest. I haven't really uh, come across that issue yet, so... Alright. Let's go ahead and put up a wall. We're just going to do a solid wall all the way around this uh, base here. Because, like, a, oop, we don't want that. Like I said, this is going to be our core, and we're going to build out from it. So, middle mouse button changes your rotation. And do I want a door going out that way? Um... You know what? Yeah, let's put a door here. And we want the finish sign be out. In, in. In. And it's going to be in. And out here we'll put our foundation here. Too wide. With a set of stairs going down. And I got I got a lot of resources. I chopped down a lot of wood and got myself ready for this episode here. And I am lacking a little bit of stone, but we will get there. And where do we want um we want a stairway going upstairs? And actually, this wall, we're going to mirror the other side. We don't want this wall here. Yeah, this claw hammer I got, this thing's a, a beast. I love it. It is purple. It's got a 304 repair. 
at eleven hundred uh, hit points right now, but it is something I use all the time. So we use that with you, and we need our columns here. Yeah, some of these walls you can't place down without columns, so you will need to to get those. Rotate all this shit. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now the question is, now you can put beams in here. See how there's a little gap in here? You can put these beams. I don't know if that's going to connect because we don't have a column there, but it looks like it did. Come on, buddy. Snap in there. There we go. Sweet. All right, so we got some support there. Going from column to column. Now, do I want to go that way with support? I mean, you don't have to put these in here, but it will uh, make it a little more sound. I said I haven't messed with the PvP, so I don't know the the rating cost and what it how much it's going to take to get inside your bases if those columns aren't there but i'm just, i'm assuming without these here it's going to be uh easier to get in your base than if they were there than than not so throw you in there throw you in there we'll put a door here all right so i'm gonna make a couple doors here i'm gonna go straight to the plank doors so we're gonna need what, four of those? Four of them bad boys. Yeah, and planks are easy. Just craft up uh, some wood planks with some dry wood. And craft those up. Yeah, I researched metal plates. So I can make those once we are able to start moving forward with upgrading this. All right, so with your hammer, you're just going to click on your foundation or walls or whatever until that bar goes up. Now, if you do have the resources in your inventory, which I do, I have stone. It, If I were to hit this again, it's going to upgrade to stone um, straight away. Now, you do have to have the blueprint unlocked at your uh, research bench. So keep that in mind. It will not upgrade if you don't. You are going to need a research bench. Now, your research bench is basically just uh, all your building stuff. So, your planks, your stone, your tin, and metal, and then brick is your last uh, piece of your upgrading for your buildings. Oh, I'm dehydrated here. Get some water. Wasn't even paying attention to that shit. Now this says plus 60. I don't know if there's a, a glitch in the game, but it's only going up by 20 uh, with my hydration. So I don't know if it's a percentage or what. Early access game. Not optimized yet, I guess. So you guys uh, enjoying the series? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see, what you guys want to learn. I'm learning as the game goes on myself. Uh, just trial and error, trying different things, trying to figure things out. Um, still haven't found a blueprint for C4. We did get the dynamite with the old boomsticks quest. You guys missed that. I got a a guide on that. Go ahead and check that out. All right, so we got all those upgraded. Getting low on our planks. Yeah, this is uh just tedious work here. Like I said, if you have the blueprint and you learned it, you can build with those items. You have to craft them. Have them in your hot bar and just build straight to that instead of 
uh, wasting resources. Like, I mean, woods everywhere. The trees grow back. You don't have to worry about that. But if you want a insufficient support, probably uh, this foundation here. And where are we at? This doorway. All right, doorway's maxed out. Doorway is maxed. Not a. You want to make sure you're upgrading your your pillars here, columns, pillars. They do that. I'm trying to I said a stick wall there. So let's upgrade that first. It's easier to see. I mean, you can upgrade your your pillars first, but. Get those upgraded for sure. Ah, I went straight to stone. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, if you have the stuff in your inventory, it's going to go straight to that after you've maxed out the, the upgrade on the current resource level. Yeah, you just want to make sure you can see the, the name of what you're upgrading there. All right, all this stuff's going to be upgraded to stone eventually, so not a big deal. Yeah, I'm going to start putting a little more time into the game. Uh, I've been running another series, and that's taken up some time of mine, but I plan on streaming the game and playing it a little bit more so i do want to get moved along here put out some information for you guys to make it easier on you while playing your games i said it's all trial and error with this stuff man there's you know there's not a tutorial out there survival games are are basically learn living and learning basically you live and learn go ahead and upgrade these all right let me uh let me finish upgrading this stuff and uh we will come back all right so i got this thing built out here a little bit got it upgraded here um to plank all the way around put in uh two staircases on each side that we have that way we have access to the roof here but went ahead and pulled some of the stuff that i had over there uh over to here got our furnace uh dropped my bed the uh research bench workbench i kind of screwed up on the workbench um so i had three tools in here they're all uh green <laughs> Uh, and I picked up the bench and yeah, I lost all three. I think it was a saw, a vice, and a anvil, all green stuff. And when I picked it up, I lost it. So make sure when you're picking up your workbenches that you uh, you clear out your tools before you do so. So uh, we got our clock here, we got our solar kin kiln. So if you're not familiar with what the solar kiln does, you just basically stick your green wood in there. And it does have, the sun has to be out, um, it has to be daytime, but you just throw your wood in there and it'll, it'll dry it up and you can use it. Uh, what else? I threw down some lockers over here, started pulling all my resources that I had over there, over to here. Um, but I wanted to show you guys these, uh, these water buckets. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but now you can put the buckets on the ground, uh, to collect water. Uh, from the rain, it will fill it up eventually and turn it into dirty water. Uh, if you do drink the water, you will get sick. You need that mint and other things to, to bring your, your sickness down. As you guys seen when I drank that dirty water, uh, what was it? I think last episode. <laughs> uh, but basically, uh, you take your bucket over water, left click, and it'll... Fill your bucket up with dirty water. Now that's plus 300 hydration, so you can fill your water bottles up that way if you're at your base, or just depends. You can you find a water source, bring your buckets over to it, and 
collect it. And then what you're going to do is at a campfire, you want to throw your buckets in the campfire. And I need that just in case I get sick. Well, basically, you just throw your buckets in here and this is meat's going to cook up. But basically, your your buckets are going to start to work here and start to clean themselves. So this is a way to get fresh, clean water without using charcoal and bottles. Um, but what you can do is once these buckets are clean, you can take your bottles and put them on your hot bar and fill them up out of the bucket. So that's an easy way to do it. And I'm going to have to go down to my sunset uh, base and grab my garden that up, is up there. I thought I researched it, but apparently I didn't. But I want to test these buckets to see if I can water uh, the gardens that way. But I just wanted to share that with you guys in case you didn't know. Go ahead and eat one more of these bad boys up in here. We got 23 of them on us, but all right. Then to close out this episode, I did want to show you guys something I did learn here. Uh, I need my playas. Where are my playas? All right. Wanted to show you guys some things I've been working on. Now this is just going to be brief. I'll go more in depth into it uh, next video. Um, but basically, I'm piggybacking off this power pole over here. And then I've just created wood post all the way down. Uh, and you can make these wood posts here. It takes four wood. Just make those posts. And basically, you can put these posts down anywhere that they're green here. Now, what I figured out here is I tried to see how far these would stretch, the wires would stretch. Um, now, it does use one wire each time. So each time you connect it to something, it's going to take one wire out of your inventory. So just make sure you have wire in your inventory. Uh, you find those around the map, but you're going to need that resource. Um, but what I figured out here is I stand next to the pole, and if I, once I get done talking, I'm going to start moving, but you're going to listen for nine footsteps, all right? You're just going to walk. Don't run, just walk. Uh, and the ninth footstep, you're going to stop and put down a pole. If you go to 10, and I'll show you guys, I'm going to put one at nine and one at 10. Uh, that way you guys can see how far these things stretch. But I've already tested this out, and uh, I'm going to be quiet here for a minute. So that way you guys can hear the footsteps and know where to stop. Alright, so that's 9 and that's 10. Basically you're going to take your conductor, put it on the pole. And that's what you're going to connect to here. Now, I'm hoping this doesn't make a liar out of me. I tried this several different times, but you're going to left click with your pliers in your hand. You should see that little blue icon there uh, with the plug in right there. And you're just going to come down here. Look for that blue icon and connect. Now, I'm going to disconnect this by right clicking it. Now, you don't get any resources back from getting rid of your wire so keep that in mind there Got two bears right there so I'm going to show you guys the 10 and it's going to show that it's too far here oh I connected at 10 now I have <laughs> I tried this a bunch of different times um, and it didn't work what I do want to test is I want to pick this back up. Now, carefully, you don't pick up your pole because uh, you will lose your your conductor if you do that. So, 
Um, I want to make sure this is 10. Because I was trying the 10 step and I'd done 11 and it wouldn't connect, but oh, I heard two footsteps there. All right, so that is 10. Let's go to 11. Let's put this here. Now that shouldn't connect to that. For science, let's check this out. It's making a liar out of me. I've tried this all the way down. See how far I could stretch this wire, so. That's 9, that's 10. This should not connect here. Yeah, see? What does it say? Cannot connect wire distance too great. So 11 is definitely too long. And if this works here, I'm going to connect this to 9. That way I don't lose my wire. I just want to do want to test this again. I don't want to be giving you guys the wrong information here. Go ahead and pick up this. So we don't lose it. And pick this one up. Get our wire back out here. Alright, let's try this. And what I'm doing, I'm just bringing this all the way to the base. Probably going to go one or two more and then cut up to the base but all right let's do here let's try and go in a straight line all right this is 10 here I'll put this right here let's put our conductor up there. Now I have tried with stone in my inventory and my hammer to upgrade these posts and they won't upgrade. So I don't know if there's like a metal post out there that is the same. Alright, so this is 10. Where's that blue icon at? Not getting the blue icon. There it is. All right, so it does connect at 10. All right, just not at 11. So keep that in mind, it will connect at 10. So to get your the max distance from pole to pole, uh, just do 10 steps uh, walking. That way you know exactly how far you're going here, but go ahead and Connect this bad boy down here. Walk in the road. Alright, so that's 10 right there. Just double check. Want to make sure we're right. Oh shit! The hell is that, a bear? Come here, bro. <laughs> uh, scared the shit out of me for a second. I'm trying to connect my wires here, bro. Come on. There we go. Connect it up. This was ten. Let's make. Can't see too far. So I wonder if you don't connect anything. That should be. That's where I was standing when I placed that. So that was 10. That might have just been right outside its reach. Can we? Can we get it, bro? Can we can we grab it? 
There we go. Old temperamental. Alright, let's try this. Alright, so yeah. You have to be right at 10. So if you're going this way, just don't set it in to your left or to your right. Make sure it's, you know, if you're walking this way, just make sure it's in front. So, alright. Weeds. Then let me show you guys where I'm piggybacking off of. Now this is uh, quite a distance, but what can you do, right? See, I wanted to be close to that water source. I was going to build down there, but there wasn't flat enough land without bushes being around everywhere, so. Oh, wow. Where'd my wires go? Oh, they disappeared. I'm going to have to uh, investigate this further. Too far. Mm, I'm keeping it spaced out right, bro. Right here. Wires too far. Should be ten steps. Well, that fucking plant out of the left corner of my eye. Thought it was a dog. Yeah, see that's nine. And that's nine. Hmm. It won't connect, huh? Cannot connect wire here. Not that it's not too far. Maybe it has to be powered? Let's uh, change that. Make sure all these are still connected. They're flashing. Ah, maybe you can only have so many connections on a post. Yeah, because these aren't even connected anymore. Well, that was a waste of wire. Alright, let's try and connect these and see what happens. Cannot connect wire here. I wonder when I if I log when I logged off and logged back on. Let me get rid of this crazy here real quick. If that did something. Let me try and pick this up. See if that. I don't need these posts. Can I pick that up? Put it back up there. Alright, so. That works. And then I'm probably going to have to pick this one back up. And re put it back up there. Alright, I'm gonna have to test that when I log off and see if. Because that's wasting my wire if I got to reconnect these every single time you log in and out. Because I already placed these and used the wire. Go ahead and then put that there. I will have to test. That's why I do this stuff. Test it out. Alright, let's connect you. You to here. Now this probably won't connect. Cannot connect here. Alright, well. Pick you up, drop you down. Let's pick this up. If this works, I swear this is. Wonder if I can connect that since it's already there. Find out. We'll find out.
Come on, give me the icon. Here we go. I don't want to waste too many of these wires because I want to make sure just to see. Yeah, I can't connect there, so I'm going to have to disconnect that too. Now, see, if you take the pole, you're going to lose a you're going to lose a conductor here. Put you there. That means I'm going to have to pick up all these conductors here. that I had previously placed. Wish you could pick up all of them at the same time without having to do all that shit. All right, let me uh, see if this will connect and then what I'll do is test that out and I'll uh, give you guys some more info on the next video that I'm going to start messing around with the power and seeing what we can do and what we can't do. All right, yeah. All right, well. Not bad. Let's go uh, grab this real quick and uh, be getting close to ending this episode here. Got some green smoke here. Hopefully this is a good supply drop we're about to find out can I uh, access your cargo please glow stick It'd been nice if you had a research in there I haven't figured out what the glow sticks are for but the flares they do something so I would assume the glow sticks are yeah obviously for nighttime and stuff but I'm sure there's a use for them Speaking of which, this is a tool. Man, <laughs> it's daylight out, bro. That ain't gonna put off a lot of put off a lot of light there, bro. Uh, yeah. What do we have there? Our hammer. Well, we'll just put our hatchet there. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll investigate. Uh, some of that wiring and stuff that shouldn't be disappearing like that when you log off and log on if it does it's gonna cost you a lot of wire just to keep your base wired up unless you find uh, you know the solar panels or I don't know if there's generators in the game or what but not sure yet haven't found them all right, well, we got the, the core of our main base here down. I will work on getting the stone to upgrade everything here and expanding up. Uh, I want to put uh, some perches up there so we can shoot some crazies or some wolves or some bears. But uh, I think that's going to be it for this episode. As always, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure to hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more videos. And I thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later. Until next time, take it easy.